Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So I haven't created anything for at least five days and I'm starting to feel a few withdrawal symptoms. Now I've got the urge to sit down and create something. So I haven't really got that much time today because I'm actually having quite a busy day but I've still got this irresistible urge to create something. So it's an itch that I just have to scratch when I feel that way. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I would come up and have a look and maybe create a little bit of an art tag in my art tag journal. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already pulled out a few bits and pieces from my stash. I don't want to um, spend a lot of time so I'm just going to go through or I have already gone through and pulled out a couple of sheets, a couple of items of collage materials and things that I already have. So I'm going to sit and create something using that. So this is one of the tags from the journal and I had lying around a sheet of um, one of my 8 by 8 from my Get Lost Digi Papers that I printed off a while ago and haven't done anything with it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this completely, I think we'll do it that way, I'm going to stick that down onto the tag. So I'm going to do it at an angle because otherwise it would it's only just going to cut the top off look so I want to cover the whole thing so I'm going to stick it down I'm just going to grab some spirit glue and I'm going to cover hopefully if this isn't blocked up there we go so I'm actually going to put the glue on the tag to make sure that I get a good coverage now, I could use matte medium but I'm just being lazy and this is a quick project like I said I haven't really got a huge amount of time today but I've just got this urge to sit down and do something so if you've got that urge you know even if you just do a little something then that will help so I'm just going to drop that down like so now this spirit glue gives me a little bit of wiggle room turn that over and then just give that a bit of a rub before it grabs. So I've got some wiggle room before it grabs which is what I was trying to say before getting sidetracked. So while that's drying I have already like I said gone through my collage collection and I had a sheet that had a, <coughs> a doll, a Ken doll I think or something of that nature which I've already cut out from the, the paper and it also had on the sheet and I collect some strange things a dicky bow tie and that's absolutely perfect for what I can create with this today so because I've done that all in one I'm going to use that as kind of a stencil as well so but I have to make sure that this is stuck down properly before I can trim it out so I'm hoping it isn't going to move I'm not going to worry too much about rounding the corners at this stage as long as I can just whip off the excess from down the sides that's going to be a happy boy okay so now that's like so I'll just take that around the corner I'll just take those ones off Perfect. Not forgetting where the hole's going to go. Just push that to one side, right? So I need to I want to grunge up those corners. So I've got tree branch archive link already on my desk from the last time I did anything. So that will work. Now I haven't gessoed anything. I haven't treated anything. So this is just going straight onto the paper. darken up those edges I'm 
Okay, that looks cool to me. Now then, a bit of a mess. So we have a map in the background. And I think what I might do is just create some silhouettes also using that ink. this side. Actually I think I might use a darker brown. Let's see if I've got potting soil kicking around somewhere. Set here. It'll be here somewhere. can't quite lay my finger on it at this very second. So somebody's obviously not put it away properly. That's somebody, in this instance, will be me. So I've only got myself to blame. Let's introduce a little bit of sepia tone into this. That's the sepia one. That's a bit darker, that's better. Making use of all the bits you've got. Creating stencils out of paper from die cuts and stuff is a really cost-effective way getting some good effect without having to lay out huge amounts of money if you can't afford <clears throat> that's better uh, if you can't afford to to buy lots of stencils then if you've got a die cutting machine or you've got you know some dies you can create your own little stencils or just cut shapes out of paper it's always a good one Much better. Happy like that. Me likey, me likey. Okay, so I feel like I want to layer some other stuff. So let me have a look, see if I've got some washi tape that I can add to it. That might fit. Washi, washi, washi tape. Where's my washi tape? Okay. Let's see what we've got in here. That's gonna fit. Got some text ones. Kind of a travelly themed one. Tickets, tape measures. <laughs> Dickie bow tie one, yes. That was sent to me in Happy Mail from Cindy Utter. Been keeping that. I think actually that should do it. That should do it. What's that one? It's got robots and things on it. Little robots and barcodes. Actually, that might work as well. Okay. So, let's just add some washi tape strips. And just fold them around the back. And trying to find the end of washi tape live on camera without any editing. Just setting myself up to fail here, aren't I? Well, if I can't find the end in a few seconds, ditch it and start on another. There we go. I 
that's not going to stick down over that ink. Okay, so it is now. It's what you call cheating. So of course archival ink sometimes takes a little while to dry. And sometimes your washi tape is old and has lost its adhesive. Just to add a hint, oh, well then, have I lost the end on that one? Oh, there it is. Not good when you lose the end. Come on, fingers do the walking. Washi tape fail. Yeah. Excuse my French, but sod it. I'll just put it there. There we go. Now, of course, it's stuck to my fingers. Oh, good grief. Get off! Here we go. That should stick down nicely now. Let's get rid of that washi tape. We'll deal with you later. Okay, time to stick my man down. Now, I have already gone around the edges of this, just getting rid of those raw edges using um, the antique linen distress marker. And I'll just show you that little couple of seconds of me doing that earlier. And I just did it automatically when I cut it out. So I did actually do it, there you go, you can see me doing it there. So I'll just add some glue to the back of this chappy now. I used my inkjet printer to print him out originally. I can tell by the um, the way is not glistening. Well, he is shiny, but the ink isn't. So I know that's inkjet, which is why I'm not using too much matte medium on this. And then we have my little bow tie, which I think I'm going to stick down, if I've got one here, yes I do, on a little 3D foam dot just to give it a wee tiny tiny bit of dimension. And again, I did go around the edges with the antique linen just to hide those white lines. Now I just need a pencil if I've got one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the pencil point through the card just to create that hole again. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to cheat, I think, a little bit. Well, it's not really cheating. I need to put a sentiment or some sort of quote on here. Um, but I have nothing which is suitable. So I have a little bit of an idea in my head what I want to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop off. Look, I've got washi tape stuck to the, my fingernail. Look, it's gone underneath. 
Oh, good grief. Um, so I'm going to type something out on the computer and print it and then cut it out and then I'll be back in two secs. Okay, so I've printed it out and I've just grabbed my craft knife and just quickly done a wiggly line all the way around it. And it reads, there are some days when I feel like I'm wearing someone else's body and living someone else's life. And I'm sure we've all felt like that at some point. So I've got some ink left on um, the foam from when I did the stencil in the background. So I'm just going to grunge up that edge. I'm just bringing it into the middle a little. That will do for that. And then I'm going to stick that like so. But I think I'm going to put it on some dimensional foam dots. So these foam dots I get from my local craft store. Very, very inexpensive. But I don't throw the waste away. I don't throw this away because that can be used on larger areas as well. I get use out of all of it. So get rid of that, get rid of that. And then what I need to do is I need to find something. It's better. There, 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 yeah, there, I think. Just coming right up to the edge. Actually, do I need to add anything else to that? No, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to call that a day. That's it. I've scratched my creative itch. So I'm going to add him to my tags. And then I think we will say for the time being, I think I need to add a bigger book ring to this. I don't think it's actually getting, it's getting caught. I feel like, it's what I'm saying about feeling like I'm wearing somebody else's body today. My fingers aren't doing what I want them to do. There we go. Acetate cover. <laughs> Love it. So even when you are pushed for time and but you still have got that creative itch, it just goes to show that you can create something, even if it's a little bit quirky, in short amounts of time. So even if you just fit something into your lunch break or a coffee break, just do a little something. It could be an iCard, you know, an index card, it could just be an ATC, but it just might be enough to get you through the day. Who can say? Right, we're going now. Shall we go? Okay, that's all from us. We'll see you all again later. Bye for now. Eh? You didn't say goodbye. Say goodbye then. Mm -hmm.